Let's do this. All right. All right. All right. The five of us back in the flesh. Curfew boys here. Full house. Sammy, Anthony, Zook, hey now. and Joey. Hey now. Hey now. Hello. Boys. How y'all doing? Greetings. Anthony, how are your New England Patriots doing? Losing. They're losing. They're losing. Okay. Joe, just the second quarter. I, I asked Anthony. Oh, my God. It ju- okay. They're There's losing. Animal. Animal. Don, I'm done. I'm done. Probably by the end of this episode, will probably be the end of the third quarter, and I'll tell you what the score is in, in, at that point. All right, 14, Anthony. 14. Good luck to your team. Okay, listen, there's no editing. So if Anthony, you're allowed to scream, there's a touchdown. It'll be in the episode. So I'm sure we have some NFL fans that listen to us. So react all you want. Swear to Joey all you want. Please, it's allowed. Well, I have other things to swear about to Joey, but let's start this episode. <laughs> and we'll get to Joey later. Sounds good. Sounds good. So listen, where we picked off, Anthony and I were, we were in the last episode talking about Arbor Jack guy. And the uh, and and the victory of the Montreal Canadiens versus the Arizona Coyotes it was a dominant performance, especially from the kids. Uri Slavkovsky gets his first goal. Nick Suzuki with a Pavel Datsuk penalty shot. Heading into the weekend, they were facing the Dallas Stars, and I already had a feeling that, especially Dallas, the way they started their season, they're starting up on top, one of the top teams in the league early on. I knew the Canadians were not going to come out victorious on this one. Habs lose to the Stars 5-2. Um, this was a pure example of toughness, grit, but veteran experience versus boys, unfortunately. That's what the Dallas Stars were. They were basically a team of men against against boys. So, listen, games like this are going to happen. I truly believe, you know, it's, again, it's just an example of a work in progress for these kids. Uh at least Arbor Jack, I got his first NHL goal. So, wow. you know, the, the, and, and, the, and you know what? It was a beautiful goal. But wait, it was did, good. Didn't it remind you uh, of Alexander Romanov's first goal? Just, just put the puck on net. Absolutely. He just shot it, screenshot. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But, but very but, similar. But, but, it's, but it's a strange comparison because there's similar players in my mind in terms of the roles that they mm-hmm. were supposed to occupy, right? Well, especially Romanov. Uh, and it's a similar first goal, so it's it's, it's a simple play. Look, trippy. Just, just put the puck on net. If you see an open lane, put it on net. You never know what could happen. And look, it, it could, could life be any better for Arbor Jacka right now? Like this kid's loved by the entire city of Montreal. He's loved by the entire fan base. Hmm. He's putting up points for a guy who you know is supposed to be just maybe at best a fifth a fifth role defenseman or a sixth. But man, like this kid's on cloud nine right now, and he he's playing well, and he's putting up points and showing a physical side of him, which he's playing solid defense too. But yeah, yeah, he is. He's not look, just there. Look, he, he's gonna make mistakes. Like that scrum with 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 uh, with Jamie Ben in the corner that led to an odd man rush and it, it, things like that. It's gonna happen like that. These, they're still kids. They're still rookies. But you can tell, man. Like this kid wants to stay with the team, and. If Mike Matheson and Joel Edmondson return, like there's there's an ongoing debate right now. Yeah. What do you know. what do you do with your defense? Like, but keep there's the no way keep the young guys. But there's no way you could send Arbor Jacki down to Laval at this no, point. No, but that's it. Like I wouldn't see this is where the question comes, right? Like mm-hmm. we're trying to make opening in our in our cap space, right? Mm-hmm. These young players are playing fantastic. Um they're showing some promising. Like, like they're showing promise play. I would use. I mean, I don't want to get rid of Edmondson because he is our veteran defenseman. But hey, yeah. if you don't see him part of the future, a good chance to make your 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 cap space and get rid of him. Hmm. He's got and one year left on his contract after this one. But and he's and he's it. and he's injury prone too. You so. you gotta have teams that want him, right? So mm-hmm. look, he I'm not gonna. Play. I'm actually not joking. I'm not making a troll or anything. I would honestly just sit our two worst defensemen. Not saying anyone's been ahead of the bunch, but play the young guys. Honestly, I'm not joking when I say this. <laughs> I would sit, uh, besides Kovacevic, I would sit Savard. If you want to take out your two worst defensemen in terms of the six games that have been played. Weidman, you can debate, but he runs the power play and he moves the puck, so it's a different dynamic. No, be, well, I don't know. Does he run the power play, really? 
But they, if like, they take him off, they have no one else. Bench him. There's nobody that they could put in a slot. I didn't say he can run it well, Zoo, but he runs it. <laughs> I don't know, because in my opinion, the two players who will be sat down, if you will, learning in the stands, it's going to be either Weidman or it's going to go to that guy that they got from Winnipeg. Uh, I can't Kovacevic. 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 Yeah, yeah, that guy. Kovacevic, yeah. And, that's, and maybe Matheson is the guy who's going to replace... Uh, Weidman, but but he's a better he's a better point man. But the better con- skater, a better, better defender for sure. But the concern I have is that if you take out Weidman and Kovacevic, you only leave one right-handed defenseman in the lineup. But cool, uh, Harris has played right before. He has, yeah, but yeah. he's still a left-handed shot. But you know what I mean. So yeah, I, I don't know if they care about that as much. He he seemed comfortable playing on the right as long as well, he's done ex- exactly. Yeah. He, he's done that in his uh, in his um, in his junior career. Uh, with Northeastern and then in the NCAA, so that's fine. It's just if you put if you're going to put Harris on the right side, who who are you taking out? I think Kovacevic comes out hmm. for He's sure. But when guy, Edmondson yeah. comes back, who else do you take out? So I don't think I, I know Edmondson skating, but for some reason, I don't know, man. Oh I, no, I, yeah, you're right. I don't think he'll come back either. I'm I just speaking if we're talking hypothetically. Everyone, yeah, uh, Jesus Christ, hard decision. It, it is a tough decision. You can't take Gooley out, and you can't take Harris out, and you can't take Jack Eye out. They're all three of those kids. They're playing well. They really are. They're making, they're making the, the usual, typical, expected rookie mistakes, but they're still progressing as they're. Playing. I haven't seen many mistakes from Harris, dude. Honestly, He's like we're all, we're, we're all, like, we're all. I've never been like, oh fuck, you know. Like, no, for sure. We're we're all always made some mistakes and Jack guy, but not we're all, Harris. Yeah, but they're also playing a lot. Playing of more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sure. no, but actually Harris is like probably the second most minutes of the uh, of the team, or at least on defense. He's not far up there. Everybody's yeah. buzzing about Jack guy, and rightfully so. Everybody's buzzing about Gooley, right? Rightfully so. There, I think honestly on defense, it's Jordan Har- Jordan Harris is is like the unsung hero or the diamond in the rough. He's he's. He, he's honestly being like the. Remember, you guys all remember Josh Georges? Like, yeah, yes. If you didn't notice him, it's been a simple he, game. He did. He was playing fantastic on defense, yeah. which is exactly what Harris is doing. But he's a bit more obvious than Josh Georges was. Well, he has more skill. He does. Yes, he does. But in terms of the game, the complexity, very simple game. He's playing. He's like he's playing a game where he he can't almost fuck up. Uh, he, like, but but he's he's also he he's smart. Wait, he's but that's it. Smart but that goes down to his positioning. Yeah, for sure, for sure. He's a smart kid. Like uh, absolutely. So I mean, look, Sam, it's a it's, yep. a, it's a tough decision to make, yeah. right? Because Edmondson is is your assistant captain, assistant. They're so called veteran of your defense and core. Mm-hmm. But now all these young players playing fantastic. But what what's his do? timeline though? Like, I mean, I, they haven't said it yet. Haven't said is, he still, yet, is, is, is he still long term? Because if he's long term, then look, who knows what's going to happen in two weeks, in two months from now? Someone might be slumping, you, and you just flip him, you know. Yeah. But he's that's not, the thing; like, it depends when like, he's going to come back, right? If, but, like, if I remember, Joey, you probably remember this, but Matheson they gave him what eight six weeks, weeks? Eight, eight weeks, weeks. Oh, eight weeks. Okay, so whereas whereas Edmondson they 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 give him a, a, an undetermined return. That's what I mean. So he just said in and, and, and he was out. He was out indefinitely. Actually, that that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. So. So honestly, most... I like I kind of like the lineup on defense the way it is right now. I would obviously love to have Edmondson and Matheson in the Madison. lineup with those kids. Hmm. Too bad none of them are right-handed shooters because you then you for 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 Joey's sake and for Joey's mental health, like Savard will no longer be in the lineup. <laughs> so <laughs> no, it's but yeah. now it's been at the beginning of the season. We were having this debate of you know we have. The horrible defenseman core, blah blah blah, and now we're trying to question who our veterans. Well, no, it's it's back. not that. No, but it's it, it's, it's not that it was going to be a horrible. Depth. We have depth in the it's yeah, we, have good, we finally have a good problem. And yeah, not like yeah. Our, uh, Who do we That's take I mean. out? Gustafson I mean. or Merrill tonight? Oh, like pick your poison. <laughs> Honestly, man, oh I'd rather God. see out Gustafson everyone come back. Matheson, he's the only one. Yeah, I think so too. It's and it's not that we were anticipating the defense to be. Terrible. It's just it was more like inexperience because you have you have three rookies practically. That's why it it hurt when Matheson got injured. I really wanted to see him with those guys. I actually like him as a skater and just brings a different dynamic. Skater. He seems like he fits more that MSL Mario Saint Louis type of gameplay. Exactly. I actually wanted someone. I wanted to see 
I was excited to see him, and then obviously the injury yeah. happened, but he'll come back soon. I mean, but it's a good problem for once. We're we're that's, not that's, speaking that's, about so hard is literally the only terrible one. Yeah, yeah, Joey's favorite. <laughs> He's only one word. Bad signing from the beginning, but we're stuck with him. What do you want to do? I think we could move on to the subject of the day, the topic of the day, the man of the day. My God. Uh, this, uh, Sammy, did you cry a bit? <laughs> well, no, I didn't cry, but I listen, we everybody was waiting for Carrie Price to speak today in front of the media. His press conference was at noon earlier today. Uh, lots of people on Twitter lost their shit expecting him to make an announcement. One of us here was expecting to announce retirement without knowing what the fuck it implies. <clears throat> but um, but uh, it's okay. I won't name names. Just... Oh, come on, just name it. <laughs> That's our thing. He's the one that's laughing with me. So, <laughs> not me. <laughs> not. <laughs> He's touching his chin too. I think a little bit. Zuki trying to take your position as ball buster. Um, <laughs> that, he, he definitely has the talent. He could do it, I think, I if was, he wants it. I was bored yesterday. That's why. Ah, it makes sense. So, listen. <laughs> Obviously, he wasn't going to announce a retirement because there's 42 fucking million dollars left <laughs> on the table for him more, right? remaining on his on his contract. Yeah, four more years at 10.5. Oh, it's 10.5. Okay, I thought yeah. it. I thought I read 31. On, on on RDS. No, you're right. Well, it's, if, it's I'm, if I'm going to according to the yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the annual average, whatever, it's wow. ten point five for the next four years. Okay, but to add to, to what you just said, he's not mm -hmm. retiring in in the definition of the word retiring. But that's he's right, retiring. Come on. Okay, no, he can barely I'm, walk no, up the stairs. We're gonna, no, we're going to use the term no longer playing. Yeah. That's retirement. Yeah, but it's I'm yes, but it's not. A guy like Dwight didn't, didn't say he, he, did, he didn't say those words. I know. Look, that's he it. said it himself. I'm not retiring. Just miracle. Yet. Like those look, words don't sound too popular. Look, like, too, mm -hmm. look, truth be told, and I know yeah. Simon said this, Go for it. Um, and I'm sure a lot of smart fans out there um, who watch this this press conference, the press Presser. conference. You know, last year, and you know, Simon, you had said it, so I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I'm not copying you. I'm giving you the... No, no, no. It's fine. I'm giving you green light. Let's go. You know, we all... Sh not us, but a lot of fans out there crucified him for not speaking up last year. You know, it was like, where's Carey Price? 100%. Where's his status? How come he's not talking to us? He doesn't give a shit about us. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't know. This conference was exactly that. It's, let me get out there to tell the fans where I stand. Now, if you heard his press conference properly, the little details that I always say, Zoot, you know... I was mm -hmm. focus mm -hmm. on details. Yeah, a lot of things were mentioned in this press conference that show a sign that he's not coming back. I don't see him leaving. The, like Samuel brought up today in our group chat that someone might take his contract to help their LTIR um, space. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't see that happening. No, I you don't. That, yeah. I think Price stays as a half for the rest of his life. There's one key thing he said in today's press conference. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to say it first, like, oh, go for you, it. Go for it. You, you go, go for it. You have the quote saved. Read it. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll finish that, that. Okay. So quote for quote for quote, word for word here. I'm not giving up and definitely not giving up on winning a Stanley cup, whatever position it may be. So I'm not giving up is just to tell the world that I'm going to, I'm not like, it's something you have to say mm -hmm. to tell them. You can't say I'm retiring. He's mm -hmm. just telling everybody I'm not giving up to give hope. But that last piece, yeah, and whatever whatever position, the guy's not going to fucking be in a defenseman. He's not going to be. Although yeah. although he said he wants he's to be a winger, he would have loved to have been a forward to take a couple of shots at goalies and aim for their heads, which I thought was funny. <laughs> I just see him staying in the organization and hoping to win wait, either as coach or I, water boy. I don't know. Can I ask but, you a question uh, though regarding no, that no, point? No, like, equipment no, manager. Regarding that point, I want to ask a question. Let's say, let's say Kent. Hughes finds a team willing to take his contract. Mm -hmm. No, he can't because of the no trade contract, right? That's the issue. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. No, no. If he has a no movement clause, that's the thing. So, how's the no movement clause with the LTIR? Like, how I don't does that know. Work? That's that's a fantastic question. That doesn't. I don't think that impacts it. It's still part of your contract. Like, you you could still be traded, injured. 
I, I don't think I do. No, but if I've never no heard of that affects it unless there's a clause that, you know, unless there's a clause in there that that protects the player or the the management if he is injured, then that's different. But they never mention mm, that. That's a Zook. To this question, right. Zook. But I, I'll be, I'll believe before even looking that I don't think it affects it. They never mentioned once about his clause and like how it would affect trading. I think someone would have mentioned it by now. But didn't he waive that? He waived, waived yeah, the Seattle. Right? He because, waived during the expansion draft. He waived. He waived it. So, so he so, waived yeah. it exactly. So he waived it for Seattle, knowing his situation, uh, because they they didn't want to risk giving a balance. So yeah, that that's a good point. It, it wouldn't affect it. Okay. Okay. So Joe, so you're saying that he cannot be traded even if he is on LTIR? No, he, I think he can be. He just has to waive. Uh, he just has to waive the uh, the no trade mm-hmm. clause. He has yeah, to accept mm-hmm. where he goes. So I, Weber I, I got traded, yeah. right? Yeah, but Weber, Weber didn't have a no a no trade clause or a no movement clause. There's a no, difference. Right. Huh? He, had, he had a no he has a no movement clause, but he just decides if he wants to get traded, he accepts it. He'll do so like, he really do has the power to stay his entire career until yes. contract yes. ends. He had that power even if he's not even he playing the contract. Wow. So yeah. then Anthony's right. She's gonna be in some capacity. I don't in an organizational so. role. I don't. I don't you. think so. Not. Not with this GM. If this oh, was, you never know, man. A, if this was Anthony's famous old world management, dude, Mark Bergevin, he I think I would have coach by now. If, okay, but wait. <laughs> uh, imagine the Habs draft a really good prospect goalie in the next two years, and then yeah. Price all of a sudden says, "Okay, listen, I can't play anymore," but he's gonna take a role for tr- training this future goalie. I don't. I don't know how it works. Listen, because there's also That's, the NHLPA involved, right? I don't huh. know if. A, if, a, if a player can I'll get involved into it. It would be absolutely, and I think we would all love that. But listen, there's like you said, there's insurances involved. There's the NHL uh, Players Association yeah. involved. There's insurance is in, another thing. You know what I mean? So I don't think a player can behave as coach in a sense. And I remember back in the day we saw Mike Commissaric do it for like one game. Yes, I remember that. But listen, I don't know the rules. I can't say that we all would love it. But I truly, truly think. Once we officially know, or Carey Price officially says, in a sense, the way they did it with Shea Weber, that Shea Weber can no longer play hockey, or if in this case, if somebody somewhere, including Price himself, says, I can no longer play hockey, I truly think to relieve cap space and to help us out and to help maybe another team that needs it, I think he will get his contract traded at the end of it signing a one-day deal with the Canadians and retiring as a hab. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that as well. And also, Zook, to your point, I don't think he can be hired as a goalie coach and get a contract, like, you know, like your regular worker. If you're still on the contract as a player, I don't yeah. you have to retire. I think they give that up. I, I think NHLP probably protects mm-hmm. at some point too. It's so he would okay. have to retire. Maybe okay. he'll retire early. And the compensation money they'll give him, they'll give him in a contract of being a goalie coach. Mm-hmm. Like it'll work that's something out between yeah, the that, probably but I, yeah. the end of the contract, probably. I did exactly. I didn't I didn't think it was that bad to the point where he has he's having trouble walking up and down the stairs holding yeah, his yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Jesus Christ. That, that part there right away. Like he, he first said, I'm trying to live a day without pain. Yeah. You know, that's that's... One, that's one thing. The moment he mentioned going up and down the stairs with his child, that right there to me is he's not ready to come back anytime no. soon. Uh, even if he's uh, ready in a year or two, the guy's getting older too. His prime is over. Like, what, he's 34 now? And he's 35. 35. 35. 35. It's, it's, so come on. Uh, like, yeah. If you, if anybody has that hope that he's going to come back in a year or two, the guy's going to be 36, 37. I don't see that happening. Um, you know, they asked him a question about has he people had the freedom? He's saying, he was trying not to say he loves it, but he's enjoying being with his family. Yeah, having that absolutely. time to go places. Yeah. Um, he also said one more thing about someone said, How does it feel to be used like having that? Because you know, someone gets so, announces retirement, right? It mm-hmm. takes time to get used to the word retirement and having that life as a retired person. Change yeah. of pace. He said, in many words, like you're not retired, but how does it feel to be somewhat retired? Mm-hmm. He kind of said, well, look, I'm not there yet. Again, political comment. 
but he's enjoying the time that he has. And I again, I don't see him coming back. I think no, he's not. Yeah, yeah. If you're living with daily pain, I mean, playing Look, being a professional athlete, then and like, he did admit. I don't know if you guys heard it. Well, you guys heard it that it all started from the Kreider situation. No, he said it started at the age of eight years old. <laughs> he, did it as, he said that as a joke. I think he said as like a joke because he didn't want to really throw Kreider under the bus. Well, but he did yeah. say, yeah, Kreider. But he also had a couple of injuries before that too. So, but to his knee. Was it to his knee? It's, it's tough to tell because because if you think about it, his MVP season came after that injury, after yeah. that collision. He said it. Right, but then it's just wearing I, – I think it was just wearing – I'm shocked, Sammy, as like – I know you're a huge price supporter. Like you you didn't see the part coming with his knee. You know how many games he was missing because of it? It was just a writing on the wall. Like I, maybe I expected it earlier than others. Like it's just a writing on the wall that this was just going downhill for him. He was missing so much time with his knee. He slipped on a puck once, and it was up for a year. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, if, no, I know. I, 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 I'm just, I'm just shocked. Maybe you know, not. I'm not saying just you, Sam. I'm just saying in general, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, surprise. At least you pick on me face to face. At least, at least you got the balls to do that. Finally, not when I'm not available for an episode, big guy. <laughs> I'll pick. I'll pick on you whenever. It just it, it comes more natural when you're not here. I don't know. Why. Yeah. Oh, tough guy. All of a sudden. Yeah, he rolls balls happening. this big when I'm not here, huh? But guys, all, all that's happening, <laughs> Weber, Price, looking back at that final Stanley Cup final game, like thinking, like how much does it hurt even more now knowing he was injured? Knew, like it, nobody knew he was injured. They said no, it. No, but they, they, but he knew he was injured. He was playing injured. Yeah, I know. It freaks no, me out even knew, more. But, but, but this is, but this is why. Part of me, like, I, I, I think part of me is in denial a little bit, but like he said it too. It's like, uh, like if, if, if his chance of recovering from the surgery that they're su- not that they're suggesting that he should get, but like it's, he doesn't want to try it. I know, I know, man. And that's the thing that's like, fuck, why 50 50? Too bad if there was a 90% chance, I think he'd do it. Oh, 100%. If there yeah, was more sure. of a chance of recovery, he would have done it 100%. But he's at that age where he knows that he has probably, if he does get healthy, he has one more year left of, of play. Yeah. Right? He has a child. Is it worth... He's got more than one. <laughs> no, but like, yeah. is it worth risking whatever chance... Well, that's, well, that's his quality of life. That's exactly what he said. He goes, <clears throat> he goes, it, it, it's, it's probably, it's not just going to affect my game. Although I could maybe come back, but just if my quality of life is not as good anymore, is it worth it? Look, no, and, I, I don't think so. And you guys know, uh, you you three are dads, like, and we're all Price's age. We're around that age bracket. Is it really worth it? Like, no you're, you're making an extra 42, 31 or $42 million, whatever the case is. Uh, I know, Sammy, you went off of the salary cap, by the way. Maybe it's not the money he's actually making, but it's definitely upwards of 30 because sometimes you can make fifteen million in a year. By the way, I forgot to mention earlier. Sometimes you can make five in a year. They just average out the cap. So okay. his money, anyways, whatever money he's leaving on the table, whether it's forty two, thirty one, like, mm-hmm. I mean, he's making that money. Would you really want to degrade your quality of life to try to come back and be in? I'm not going to say no. he's going to be a top goalie. No, 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 no. No, but I'm also saying that's why he's not retiring because there's that money left. Yeah. Right, exactly. But we all know what the smart decision is. And look, as a as an organization, as a Sam, as you said, as a blessing in the skies, this is our way of moving on. We have to move on from ten point five million dollars as yeah. a goalie. Whether yeah, it's move on, Sammy. Pardon? Move on. I don't worry. I've I've accepted something. You yeah. have not, not fully. No, something. Have to move on. <laughs> after today's press conference, I, I mean, I got over the whole we lost the Stanley Cup Finals against Tampa Bay, whatever, but. After this he, conference, it brought he's me not, back. He's it not brought, over it, though. No, he's not over it. But I'm saying he's not too. over it. I thought I was over it. But yeah. now after Weber gone and Price gone and knowing that he was injured and he knew, the, like, even the whole Seattle thing, he knew that he ruined the no way trade, whatever, just he knew he was done. So that Stanley Cup Finals meant a lot more to that team, that group of players, more than anything. That's why it hurts even more now for losing. Even though... What we weren't expected to get that far, we all knew it was a Cinderella story. 
We all should we all knew like, oh, we didn't expect it. We shouldn't be mad that they lost. We came so close with a core like that. Three wins away. Fuck. It would have been nice. You know what oh. I mean? Like, Joey, let's go back to off topic about hockey. But remember that year in 2004 or 2002 when Italy had that amazing team, you know, Tati, Nesta, all like the top Maldini, players, right? Maldini, all these guys. And we didn't <laughs> Christian Vieri. That tournament was stolen from us, as you know, but I'm not going to get into it. But it was yeah. stolen from us. <laughs> let's say we wouldn't have won 2006. How much would that 2002 World Cup hurt you today, knowing that you had a core like that and not win it? Yeah. That's, it, that's what it feels it to me now with the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. Even though we didn't expect to go that far, we had the Weber, we had the Price, we had the Gallagher, we had all our core players. That, we, had the, we had the Dano. We had the Dano. <laughs> And we didn't win favor. We had hurt, like it in. Right? Oh my god! To think about it. That's all. What soft? What softens it for me? The the feeling of the final. I, besides Price and maybe Weber, I it it it's it's hard how we. I try not to remember because it's hard how we didn't even make it a final. That's what bothers me, and I I am able to quickly forget it because we didn't even. I know Tampa is too strong. We just didn't even make it a final, which disappointed me. The most and that's why I, I that's where i feel bad for price and most i don't think the team as far as they made it as well as they did the first three rounds they just didn't play well f- they tried to it's not that they didn't they just didn't play well for him in the end and i don't know that's gonna Dude, bug me more it, it, it warned them off though they did the most traveling out of any team during those playoffs which which if you really look back like Tampa Bay, all they did was traveling along the East Coast. Not only the We're playoffs, at, even the season, we traveled a lot. Remember? Oh my God, that too. Yeah, exactly. Like, so yeah, I'll agree. That yeah. whole that whole year, like, I think I don't think fans realize the level of adversity that that team went through. And I'm not talking about just against the Leafs, um, Winnipeg, Vegas, and then Tampa. I'm talking about like mental adversity in terms of the traveling, the time differences. It it, it was nuts what the yeah. that it was nuts what the Canadians went through during those playoffs, and they still managed to beat all odds almost. Yeah, I guarantee you, if the Canadians d- now listen, it, there were rugged series, and I think Vegas really fucking gave it to them to the point where it's like Jesus, they worn them out, but they were able to beat them. But I, if Tampa Bay would have done the same traveling, the same type of gone through the same type of ruggedness, I guess. Rigor. I don't, I don't think know. I don't think they beat us in five. I no. truly don't. I think I think we I won another game. To this day, if we would have played Islanders, which we yes, they would have. Oh my god, won. god. It would have been closely matched. We would have. Yeah, because they're won. they're more matched than our deck. Because ours would have won it. Cinderella. I, would, I could put my hand in fire that we would have won that series if. Um, I put my hand in fire if Kreider doesn't collide with Price. Twenty fourteen. Yeah. We go to the Stanley Cup Finals as well. 100%. Yeah, I believe. I know. Now, do we beat the do we beat the LA Kings? Possibly, mm-hmm. never know. Uh, quick I mean, and possibly. dowdy, then Zook. Never know. Dude. Yeah, but you never know. You're right. It's a Co- team that got that know. Like, dude, really... Co- Kopitar, Kopitar back think... then. I know back then he wasn't there, but dude, still. Toffoli back then. I think I think Jeff Carter Tof- back then was on Co- that. Yeah, Carter was that, was that was the line. Uh, Carter was good. Carter Pearson. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I think it was Toffoli or Brown. I remember Dwight had... King was Them apparently was amazing. The of 2019. Yeah, I know, but it would have been close. Dwight King. Dwight. <laughs> and to us, uh, Bergy special. Oh my god, him and uh, who was it? Steve Ott. Steve Ott. Or that 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 best fourth line that fucking. <laughs> that, oh he my loved god. Ber- Bergevin uh, bargains. Loved it. <laughs> Anyways, no Bergevin talk. No Bergevin talk. I'm yeah, before Joey. <laughs> Before Joey blows a fucking gasket. Nah, I, I um, yeah, so... Jeez, I'm going to fix my mic here. So, yeah, that's... Uh, again, like, the, the hope or the dream is for that miracle, but I don't know. But if I he think... wins it as a coach, I mean, it, it will alleviate somewhat. I, I think he's going to come back to try to do it, as long as he wins it, right? Yeah, but Ant- Anthony is probably right where he's going to come back in terms of some kind of staff. Within a team, I don't know if it's gonna be with Montreal though. That would be the stupidest thing ever. If he le- look, if he were to ever go to another team and stay there, and I would be very disappointed. But he's allowed. He's At allowed. that point, yeah, when but that would that would hurt me. That would hurt me. That's okay. So why? <laughs> you wouldn't want. 
You, you think he cares about you? I know no, that's not, about no, me, that's not the point. He's the face of the Canadians. He was the guy. He was. Like, I don't know. I At that I, point, retirement, he, he was. But, okay, all of us here at one point were like, we want Price to win the cup. It's not going to be with the Canadians. If it's with another team, we hope it happens because we'll be happy. Uh, with it. another team as a goalie. Okay, like as a goalie. What do you? Okay, I'm, okay. I'm gonna. I think but it's worse to, it to be a staff member to win it with another team. I think it, it would have been worse for him to win the cup as a goalie with another team than being no, just a staff member. It. No, I would have respected it because I would have said <laughs> he tried so hard. He carried his team on his shoulders. We just never gave it to him. So I would give him that chance to win it with someone else, but to leave. To be a staff member, oh, team, I don't know. No. I think, no, I think and, and it's staff, a job, oh, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's a job, right? What if he, what if he gets a, a really amazing offer from, I don't know. I'll even say, to, uh, I'll go as far as saying Toronto. What I'll if kill, he gets an, I never. Like somebody's gonna get a punch in the face. But you, you know what I mean? What, what if he gets an amazing offer as the individual? He has enough money, and that number thirty-one yeah, and those jerseys will be. The you can never say you have enough money. If the guy is gonna be making five million in Toronto and two million in Montreal, I mean, he's you're not... making millions for being home with his child right now. Yeah, because he's on, he's injured. But when he's he retires, injured. he won't yeah. be making that money. He has to think of his. I, I just, I don't. I mean, look, I'll speak with experience. You know, I don't. I, I respect Tom Brady as a player because he's talented, but I don't respect him anymore because of what he did. We finally agree. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leaving the Patriots the way he did, I yeah, but there there could have been back end, there could have been background stuff, right? That 100%, happened. Hundred percent, I'm sure there is, but oh, Bailey Jack's fault. There's, <laughs> anyways, let's not get into the Brady talk. <laughs> but what Brady did, I wasn't too happy, you know. But but it's different because Brady won a lot of championships with with Patriots, so maybe he wanted to challenge somewhere else. It's very so different. I can look at it that way, but yeah. Price. <laughs> Just look you at don't think you don't think Price was as talented as Brady in his own right? Like Price just doesn't have a team. If you put Brady on the Jets for all those years, you think without Belichick, you think they win the championship? It's the same. It's the same thing as Price. Yes, I do. They one hundred percent do. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. I just I don't know. I mean, I guess Who's ball busting now. If, if Price would go to another team in a year or two. No, It'd be a I, bit of a slap in the face. Too. I I told I told you guys today it's not about the players anymore. They do what they want. I don't look get at Koivu. with them. So look at yeah. Koivu. You Koivu went to did Anaheim. Koivu did, not, Koivu did not want to leave. Koivu like, got that's kicked different. out of the team. That's it. Okay, don't get anti start on this because I might actually agree with him too. <laughs> Similar. You, did, oh, you agree with me last episode. Okay, let's go back and wind to that. Spot. I didn't agree, but I didn't disagree. I didn't say you were wrong. When you don't disagree. It's it's. You're good. <laughs> okay, yeah, here he is. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. I, I, I think it would hurt me less if he wins the cup as, like I said, a staff member of another team more than than him as a player Sam, wearing, an, wearing another jersey. Cup? As a as a as a staff member, let's get over the player he's done. Would you want him to win a cup as a staff, like as a goalie coach? Sure, player? yeah. If 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 like I said, if I wanted him, if I could accept. The fact that he deserves a cup as a goaltender with another team, I think I could easily accept him winning a cup as a staff member for another franchise. For any franchise? <laughs> well, except for except for Boston, except for Toronto, fuck Ottawa. Um, How about Vancouver, you got in the whole fucking league. Well, no, I'm thinking of teams <laughs> I really hate, and it's just those three. Edmonton. Uh, okay. F- no, I don't enough. hate Edmonton. I don't hate Calgary. Winnipeg, eh, I don't know. I'm neutral. I mean, if he wins it with the Canucks, which you know, it's his it's kind of his home team. I think that would be cool. Uh imagine he wins it with Seattle and Shane Wright. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna piss off fans big time. You'll win, yeah. but Shane Wright's not gonna be in that team. <laughs> oh, I, I, think, I think I think that's gonna be Shane's right, not not Shane's right team, but I think he's gonna be one of their franchise players. But no, I don't know why, Joe. Why are you asking me this? I don't know. I just want to see if you 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 care more about the player or you do about your hatred t- towards the Canadians' rivals. Just no, curious. fuck fuck the Leafs, fuck the Bruins, fuck the Senators. I mean, I see, I don't. Re- I don't really hate any other teams. No, like and the day staff member is what? You want as a staff member? Like they have their names engraved on the cup. Yeah, and that's, that's all so they they they. That's, that's probably what he wants. Whether it's a player, or 
really he did well. Look, a- Anthony's right. I, whether it's whether it's one position or another, like that's his dream. His dream is to win the cup, and I think at this point, you can accept that maybe as a he's staff gonna, member, management member. Of course, I want it to be with the Montreal. He's going to stay absolutely. I, I would. I. I, no, I, would I, I think he's, he's going to live and die as a hub. That's, yeah. that's my. I think so, so too. And if he, he signs here, can we give him a goalie to work with, like to actually work with? Oh, oh and Zook. Question. If he works with Dob, Dobbs, Dobbs, Dobbs. Dobbs. If he works with Jakub Dobbs or whatever his name is. Okay, guys. If he works with him, oh yes. Does he have enough to get his number retired? Yes. 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 So I think he's the gold. He's the goal. Can we, for once, start accepting that a player does not need to be a Stanley Cup champion to be retired as a Montreal yeah, but, Canadiens? But please, but isn't I, that isn't that the tradition though? Yes, it is. But but we're 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 in a different era right now, though. Yeah, but because like, then there's, there's with that kind of thought, Sammy, then why don't we put Poulain's? Jerseys up there. No, she won everything. No, 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 no. She won everything. Time out. Time no, out. Time no, no, no. She's a ghost for the women. Better question. Wait, Sammy. Better question. Better question. Yeah. If we retire Price's jersey. Yes, we retire Koivu's jersey. Yes. Thank you. Because if you don't, then what the fucking point? And you okay. retire Koivu's before Price. If I no, no. Hold on a sec. Time the fuck out, all of you. Listen. <laughs> no. Listen. I'm sorry. Before Koivu goes up, you need. First of all, you need Gallagher to not play with the Canadians anymore. Oh, my God. I thought you were going to say retire his number. was about to have a heart attack. I should have. That reaction is priceless. I should have gone there. But for you, Joe, I did not. No. <laughs> Somebody needs to stop wearing number 11. I hope to God. Once, Gall- once Gallagher okay. is gone, it's going to happen. He's going to be out of the team, whether it's LTIR, which I believe one day he will be. Or trade, or just no renewing his contract. Nobody's got to wear eleven. As soon as that stops, fine. You retire Koivu's number ASAP. Saku Koivu deserves to be up there. Okay, he's, he's top 31. ten. He's top ten in points all time in Montreal Canadiens history. That counts for fucking something. And tied for the longest serving captain of this franchise, one of the oldest franchise. In the NHL, in hockey, yeah. he deserves to be up there. I don't give a shit what anybody says. You can gonna, disagree with me it's all you want. Saku Koivu's number deserves to be up there. Carey Price, however, deserves to be up there as soon as he officially retires, Adri, because he is the greatest winning goaltender of all time with this franchise. He brought he brought us to the Stanley Cup Finals. I don't give a shit for COVID year bubble playoffs. This all that I don't give a shit. Okay. He deserves to be up there he, simply because he's the most winning goaltender mm, of all time. Right. I I appreciate and I love how the Montreal Canadiens tradition of retiring numbers is they have to be Stanley Cup champions. I do get that. I don't disagree with that. However, unfortunately, that that era of dynasties is is no longer there anymore. Okay? Listen. <laughs> Hopefully one day. But, but listen. Having said that, I still believe there are three other guys that deserve to be up there, three or three, that deserve to be up there before Price, before even Koivu, okay? And that's number 22, Steve Shutt, number 25, Jacques Lemaire, and I think Guy Carbonell's number was 20, I want to say 24 or 25. Guy Carbonell's number should be up there as well. If Patrick Waugh's number is up there, so should Guy Carbonell. Okay, those three guys' numbers deserve to be up there. But if there's anybody, okay, that's a non Stanley Cup champion who should be the first non Stanley Cup champion to be up there in the rafters, it's Carey Price. Yeah, not Koivu. The first, the The first. I do, 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 do you, do my god, (laughs) selective hearing much, Joey. I swear, I said Koivu's number deserves to be up there, but the first one that should go up, I think. Is price because one price has four years left on his contract and Gallagher has how much five or six. So price's number is going to be done before Gallagher. I think Gallagher is going to stay with the Montreal Canadiens throughout the rest of his contract. So that's why I'm saying price's number should go up there first. It's a little disrespect, but anyways, we'll we'll agree to disagree for tonight. I'm not in an, uh, uh, Oh, uh, argument. I'm here. Time. Like, really? You're going to back down? No, I've, really? I've, I've, I've honestly had a long He's day. Everyone here knows Koivu should be retired before prices. Like, get rid of Gallagher's number. Give him 
I don't oh, know. Give him no, 90. That, that I'm going to side with Joey. Give him 98. I don't care. recording all you want, Joey. I do agree that price, uh, Koivu should get retired that makes before sense. price. Thank you. Yep, you were right. Price, yep. You said price first. That's correct. No, yep. Koivu before price. <laughs> But hold on, I would say Guy and all those other guys before Quavo. That's fine. That, that is completely fair. That so see, half fair. of that is agreeing with me because I said that. So. <laughs> Guy won yeah. cups. Guy won two. He won. He won, the, he won yeah. with Patrick Wad. Listen, and, and he, he was won... a fantastic coach. Ish. Well, I mean, yeah, in 2008 they were. He Who did coach Price. Or... He's amazing. Yeah, the guys. Lucky tie. Yeah. So yeah, I I I think. I'm going to go with Price being the first guy. Not yeah, he has the most wins, but he's played a lot more games than... Uh, than the well, that's a, and, that's, and that's another reason. The seasons that's, were, were double. That's another reason for him to go up there. The fact that he did wow. his entire career with one team. Had they played the same amount of games, who would have more wins? It would have been Jacques Blount. Maybe. Yeah, but also, <laughs> but also, or maybe well, Ken Dryden. <laughs> Dryden too, yeah. But even in that, whether it's, you know... A, a, it's an era long ago for Plant and Dryden. They had much better teams than Price did. Price uh, that, that's for that alone. I would probably put it more than the if wins. You, if you yeah. gave Price a team like you know, like Roy had and uh, Brodeur had all those years, My well, God. well, even Roy, he had a team that was dwindling. They were starting to be, you know, in they Montreal? were on the decline. Even in '93, they were. Yes, but when he went to Colorado, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, what a team there! The 95 team was amazing, but I think the 2001 team was just insane. Defensively. And, Bro- and Brodeur, too, right? But Brodeur, some games, uh, to me, he he would feel like Dryden. Just His stick yeah. would be standing, and he would just be standing there. That's why I would say Price is one of all of them, because Price kept his team yeah. on his shoulders. Okay, they so yeah. they the yeah. ultimate question. We're talking about Price being retired at the Bell Center, his number. As soon as Price retires, is he a first ballot Hall of Famer? Yes, I would see it. Yes, yeah, yes. Go, Anthony. You, t- t- you're you're struggling there. Then again, if, an, uh, if I'm agreeing to raise his number, then Hall of Famer should be it too. Mm, not always. It doesn't necess- No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's not always the same. He was a Hall of Famer. But the thing is, Who? also Hall of Famer. I don't see Price is a Hall of Famer. Why not? Really? really? Why not? I'm not gonna attack you. I'm just no, biting I mean, my tongue. You know what? No, sorry. <laughs> Let me rephrase this. Maybe a Hall of Famer more than raising his number. Okay. Okay. Sure. Because he's Fine. won not championships, but have won a lot of awards and all that stuff. He's and won it's, everything it's except still... the Stanley Cup. Yeah. Nah, so Hall of okay. Famer more than raising the number. That's probably more realistic. Yeah. What did Price do as a goaltender for the game of hockey? Oh my God. Anybody? Dude. He brought in, he brought in, I would say not a style, but that mentality. You know, that calm goaltender, very technical, mm-hmm. focused. That's mm-hmm. Price, in my opinion, was the first one because before that, it was always those sporadic, you know, weird goalies. Dominic Hasek, Hasek, and all just, those. No, but was goalies were, were always cases, right? He was the only one. That was like, you know, uh, what else did he bring? I don't know. No, at one point, respect. Okay. He brought it, he brought everything off by like class. I mean, yeah, class, respect, integrity. He yeah. brought stability to Montreal Canadiens. Without him, I'm sorry, this team from being eighth and you know having these miracle Stanley Cup yeah. playoffs, yeah. we would be. Uh, um, okay, I, I won't say it. it that was I was oh, just. No, no, okay, you're, you're, no, you're saying something. Again. Hold on a second, but don't. I think. Okay, hold on. This is gonna spark up another <laughs> conversation fast, man. <laughs> But take out price out of the equation of this team. Yeah. Do you think the rebuild would have started a lot earlier? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was just so about to say we would have probably had some top prospects. Price but... was, was, you could always say that price was a problem of this team if you think about it because it took oh this long to find you know what I mean? just, The structure of the, the sh- restructuring. No, yeah, not restructuring, but the rebuilding. The structure of being a good team, price is a problem. It's not on him. It's just the way it is because he's so good. Your team will never be bad. So it's- Bob Gainey, when he let go of those 10 free agents, Koivu, Kovalev, Tange, uh, at that time, before he got fucking, uh, who was it? Gomez. Camilleri, Gomez, and Gianta. He literally should have put together a fucking minor league team. Yeah. So they would tank. But Price at that time was just starting. I mean, 
it was Halak that that season, the, those playoffs. But if anything, they should have done the rebuild with Price there too. Absolutely. At that point, at that point, maybe we would have had Nathan McKinnon. Maybe we would have had. But yeah, but Taylor Hall. That's, that's, <laughs> only one year. that's only one year, Sammy. He was too good to play in the minors. Even if he played in the minors that one no, year. No, I'm not, dude. I'm, I didn't say for him to put it. I said minor league team, but it's a metaphor for putting a shit team together. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Good, we wouldn't have been last. That's the problem. He no, so I don't good. think so. No, that's, I don't think that's so. That's the problem with Price. He was no. so good. We can't be last. You can have a superstar <laughs> forward in the making coming up. Let's say like Price's ability, but as a center, but you can. You 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 can't mask a te- you can mask a team's efficiencies a little, but as a goalie, they're always the one. They it's weird because it, it's a weird. I don't know how to say it. It's just a weird thing. They don't make you goalies don't make you win cups, but they make you win games. It, it's a weird thing to say. Mm. Yes, goalies make you look better than what you are, but they they're not the reasons you win a cup in terms of being the best on your team. I'm saying it if if that makes mm. sense. Like prices that, caliber, I think Matthew Broder would disagree with that. Back I think, then, I, not now. I think Roy would disagree yeah, with that. Back no, back then, always talking about the new brand of hockey. So, yes. okay, okay, okay. Hold on a sec. Um, was 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 Jonathan Quick one of the reasons why LA won? Yes, but there was a bunch of other reasons. Sure, well. but Jonathan Quick was fucking phenomenal on, during like, the D. Yeah, but if they don't have Jonathan Quick, they don't win. Braden Holpe, I understand. For Washington, I understand there's Ovechkin, Backstrom, Carlson, uh, Kuznetsov. But Braden Holpe, during that playoff series versus Vegas, holy All you need is a hot goalie. Okay, okay, hold on. on. It was amazing. Again, I I get... Anthony Niemi. Niemi, (laughs) But listen, Anthony Niemi played... Look, the fucking Michael Layton... Michael Layton, Michael Layton, who was popular for one fucking playoff. Tim Thomas, dude. dude. Cam Ward won a Stanley Cup out of nowhere. Thank you, boys. Didn't Bernie win one too? No. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All you need is a hot goal okay. in the playoffs. Okay. Does Tampa Bay win without Vasilevsky? He's not. The way they play, no. But he's look, a monster. Thank you. Thank you. Now. Anthony yeah. and I, we mentioned this. It's Maybe a- in the new era of hockey, like right now, like literally right oh. now, or as of last season, the way Colorado won the cup with not Kemper. a big name goaltender. Was it Kemper? Kemper? That's right. Darcy Kemper. Kemper. Maybe, maybe that is the trend of winning. Like if you see I mean, look, it's it's been it's it's been the problem for, for like the Maple Leafs for how long? <laughs> <laughs> they, but they yeah. also have, but they also have shitty defense too. Yeah, exactly. They don't have chemistry. Who was that? Sam, was I think it's a different story. Sam, I think it's a trend that's already has started. Like you mentioned Vasilevsky, but their team with a decent goalie, I think, still could maybe win the cup, kind of mm-hmm. like what Colorado did. But they mm-hmm. just want it because they have an amazing team with amazing goalie. Before them, it was Jordan Biddington. This guy just comes up out of nowhere. What is your third, fourth round pick? They don't see they don't see him as like the number one, you know, future franchise goalie, but he becomes a great goalie and he just becomes hot in the playoffs and they win. But it. that's what you need. But but you, you but but the thing is if your goalie does not become hot in the playoffs, no matter what kind of caliber sure. goalie he is, if he's not hot in the playoffs, there's a good chance you won't win. I, absolutely, absolutely. But w- what we're trying to say is just price, you know, in a sense is like He's just so good. I yeah. Mean. Well, yeah. But and and listen, at at one point in time, he was ranked the best goalie in the world for many years. He, he I think he's a first ballot Hall of Famer because I of love, that. I know. I I can disagree. He's done. He's done everything for the league and for the team. I, I don't know how he cannot be amongst amongst goaltenders. He was the face. He was the face right. of goaltenders in the NHL. The only problem is if his retirement comes around the same year as Flurry. If he decides or because Flurry, I mm. mean, he's on, kind of on his last legs, and Flurry's yeah. going to be he's, Fleury, he's, he's a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer. Did he three win time. one or two, one cup with Pittsburgh? Right? I know, bro. He won. No. He won three. No. No. Yes. Guys. No. At it, least two. Guys. He won <laughs> one against Detroit. He mm-hmm. won one. Against San Jose, anyone won against Nashville. I'll tell you right now. 
I thought Matt, I thought their last oh, cup they won was uh, Matt Murray. Yeah, who yeah. was the backup? Hmm. He still won. So Stanley Cup champion has three of them. 20, 2009, uh, 2016, and 2017. I sorry, I meant as uh, I should have meant as a starter. I didn't even remember he was What's there. Matter starter or not, he's True. backup. Matt yeah. Murray was uh, hot. That <laughs> but, 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 yeah. it, 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 there you go. A Hall of Fame goalie is not even your starter in the playoffs. It's Matt Murray. It's like. I still believe. I still believe um, Flurry's a uh, first ballot Hall of Famer, hundred percent. Right. So the only thing is, it could cause problems for prices if they retire the same year. But and if they're and if they're eligible the same year as well, and blah blah. Well, blah, usually blah, blah. when you retire, you're eligible. You're eligible. Yeah, yeah, you're eligible the same year. So, and I hate to say it, but Flurry, they'll consider Flurry before Price. More wins, more cups. They're just gonna. That's, consider that's, that's all he's missing on his. Fucking resume, and if he never would have gotten injured, yeah, I think he would be top ten amongst wins all can, time among uh, for goaltenders. But uh, a lot of players are like that. Remember Rene Bork? He won it at the end, but this guy was a first ballot Hall of Famer, no questions yeah. asked. He only won his cup at the end of his career, his last season. Yeah. Adrian, you wanted to say something? But they can be, they can both win. I don't get it. Yeah, but I have you ever seen two goalies make it in the first mm. year? I don't know. I'm just this asking is, the question. This is a first could, for everything. Yeah, Those there's a first, first for everything, everything, right? That's true. And there is a first for uh, everything. B- back to Kerry, his whole retirement or whatever part of the organization, he's going to be the ambassador for the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, but I don't think he'll count as a cup winner if ever they do. He wants don't to be. Worry about he it. Wants I don't think. Be. I don't think his name. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. it. Oh, <laughs> this is well, forget a contract. about it. Here he is, Donnie Brasco over here, Ma. I forget love, about as it. As long as there's a contract. Somewhere his name's gonna be on it. Oh man, I don't know though, dude. I, 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 I don't even think he wants to be part of a rebuilding team as a staff member. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> He's gonna go. To, can you imagine? He goes to Colorado as a staff member and stop wins it. there. Stop <laughs> it. All right. Anybody getting PTSD? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was gonna think on that note. Or uh, <laughs> does anybody else have anything? To That's say a perfect note. Before we wrap this up, <laughs> perfect ending to this show. No, PTSD. Right. Uh, PTSD. I'm excited to see tomorrow against uh, the Wild. How they do? Wild uh, listen, offense, but uh, they they haven't been playing well. Okay. You okay? <laughs> did you drop your Did you drop your equipment knowing that the uh, the Patriots are down twelve? <laughs> <laughs> so I can oh yeah, end of the third quarter. The pay- what, what, what you're you about such the pay- an pay- asshole. Twenty six. Anyway, go back to hockey. It's but it's be funny because I saw him react when they were losing. <laughs> uh, going back to hockey, just to finish off, I'm excited to see them against the Wild tomorrow. Yeah, uh, Sammy's uh, high fiving, so he's excited. No, because uh, no, hold on a sec. Because listen, I I didn't think six games into the season that I'd be looking at the standings, hoping that the Canadians could be bottom five. I'm with you, Sammy. So look, I I wanted I, I wanted the Jets to win. They're up three zero. I wanted the Oilers to win. They were down three zero apparently against the Pittsburgh Penguins. They're they up five three. Yeah. Well, Toronto or Toronto or Vegas. I mean, both of them are are are. Jack ahead. Eichel is going to take care of Toronto tonight. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Senators are actually surprising everyone, including they me. They're up. They won four uh, two. We well, needed the Devils. To... I, I'm telling you, they're making playoffs this year. Who? Uh, you know what? You the might Senators be on this... making the playoffs. You might right be onto something, Anthony. Uh, the Devils got a, sh- a beating against the Capitals, but and we just need. Oh my, Vancouver! Did you guys see what's going on in Vancouver? What a mess. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to be like Toronto in uh, in six months. It's Vancouver, Arizona, Sam. I'm the most worried about right now for the the, the tanking situation. But listen, even if those two are ahead of us and we finish below them as third, listen, guys. I'm telling you, Adam Fantilli. This kid is killing it in Michigan. He outproduced uh, Jack Eichel when I saw those numbers, dude. Already. And he's a six foot two centerman. Another centerman yeah. we want. <laughs> yeah, Bloody. yeah. If you're if you're third, uh, uh, okay, Zook. Zook why uh, why that's why did the Canadians beat Vegas during those playoffs? Because <laughs> they had their centermen's injured and we didn't. I don't. Know. <laughs> right, well, that's it. We yeah, have it. we have a fucking center now. We need fucking right. Right shot defense. Okay, you're telling me you wouldn't want to see Suzuki, Fantili, and Owen Beck down in the middle, yeah? And Doc, I think and, Doc and, and, well, and you're going to keep Savard. 
Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about Sanderman here, not defense. No, I know, but you still who's gonna replace you, him? You never you never pick by uh what you need, you pick best player. But that's a, always. Yeah, that's it, a but, stacked middle though, Sammy. The, <laughs> if yeah, exactly. Like, but but still, let's be funny. honest, Bedard and Mishkov are going number one and two, respectively. Uh, okay, let me say something about Mishkov. You guys keep saying he's going to be... Didn't he get destroyed by Emlyn? Yeah, but he's back yeah. now. But his knee... <laughs> yeah, he had oh, surgery, I think. Surgery, bro. He's fucking 17. He's, 18, and he he's had, 17. But and, Lord, and he he's already re- got a surgery. That's not he someone ain't, he's you not, want. He's not 30,009 years old like, like we all are point. here. It's, still, <laughs> it's, it's, a deli- yeah. it's delicate, especially when you matter for 18. But, I mean, those are the the consensus top three, and that's what we want to go for. So. It's, it's going to change by Christmas time. Uh, you're going to see other names emerge. <laughs> anyway, so on, number two show up. I on that wow. note, I just want to see how the the rookie defensemen do against Kaprizov tomorrow, guys, because they have a high scoring offense. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, Minnesota. but they're struggling. They're struggling. Minnesota. They only yeah, won they one are. game. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked. And we're playing against Flurry. You know how Flurry does yeah, against. Yeah, us, so. that, yeah he point. loves Flurry. Loves playing in Montreal, but that's the yeah. It's you know look. We know every game this season is going to be a challenge. We're going to be repeating it all all year round. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward uh, to that too. Don't uh, miss the game, guys. Everybody, tomorrow night, Bell Center, Montreal versus Minnesota. I guess uh, I guess that's it. Anything else, boys? Real quick, now do we officially wrap this up? Yes, <laughs> yes, we do. All right. Well, listen to all our listeners. We thank you very much for um, checking us out on YouTube. If you like. What you saw and what you hear, click on the subscribe button, whichever side of the screen it's on, wherever it is. Please link it. Thank you for the support. Leave us comments. Uh, any of your feedback is always appreciated. Um, if not, audio version on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you're new here, welcome. Please continue showing us the love and support. It's always appreciated. I love you boys, Anthony, Zook, Joey, and Adri. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy the game tomorrow. I'm sure we're going to chat as always. Until next time. Bye Bye now. now. Good night.